How's it going? This is Shalom. I'm just making a follow-up video to some of my real estate talk. So, um, as I mentioned before in the other real estate talk videos, um, I was in the flipping business and I got into real estate. Started off as an agent working for my broker who primarily was into flipping. And part of my job was one, finding the properties that we could buy at a great deal um, that we could buy cash. Uh, two, doing the numbers in terms of how much should we buy it for uh, based on the comps in the area, the comparables in the area, what should the cash offer be, taking into account how much rehab work needs to go into it. Now, keep in mind, sometimes there was a lot of times where we didn't even see these properties before we bought them. You know, um, it was more of a numbers game for, for me, for us. Uh, once you kind of get an idea of how to do it, you know how to do it, you it kind of becomes just a numbers game. And so <clears throat> there were several properties that, you know, we, we were able to purchase without even taking a look at them. You know, you kind of have to know square footage. You have to know a lot about rehab. And as I mentioned before, I started doing construction or if you will, rehabbing properties for, you know, um, investors while I was in college, you know, so I got experience really putting in the work and putting drywall, breaking down walls, et cetera, et cetera, all the way to seeing the rehab work done and then getting into it as an agent, as a quant, finding the properties, doing the numbers, saying we'll buy it for this much, we'll put this much rehab work into it, and then we'll resell it for this much. So doing all those numbers is very important. That is something that you will gain with experience. Um, and yeah, really just experience. So <clears throat> as I mentioned before, this house right here is actually one of the properties that we bought and I was lucky enough to get it for my parents. So that was a blessing. Um, when we initially got this property, uh, one, one of the main things that why we were able to get this property was there was a lot of damage inside. And so when you have a lot of damage in the property, it becomes a liability for the bank and banks will not sell a property or can't, you can't really sell a property when there's a lot of liability in it. So here's what I'm talking about. These railings that you see, uh, I actually put these in myself, you know, um, when the market was bad, a lot of people were pissed off that they were losing their properties and their homes. And some people decided to do a lot of damage in it before they left so that the bank can't resell it on the retail market. And at that point, the bank can either rehab the property themselves and then sell it, which they're not in the business of doing, or they find somebody that will buy it cash and will do all the work and is fine with doing that. So I found this property. There's a lot of damage in the in the kitchen. It's a two story, um, two story, initially a three bed, um, three bath. And all these railings weren't here, all of them, everything all the way downstairs. There was no railings whatsoever. The previous owners had destroyed it. There was a lot of damage in the bathroom, damage in the kitchen. So they, they put in quite a bit of work before they left. So when I got the property, um, I got it at a good deal. However, um, I, I did need to, you know, fix this up um, for, you know, for my parents before um, giving it to them. So, yeah, if you guys have any more questions about real estate and specifically real estate investing, um, leave a comment send me a message. I'd be happy to talk more about it and my experience in it. You know, I'm no longer day to day active in real estate. However, it's something that I love and will do for the rest of my life. You know, that's the nice thing about real estate. You, you don't really need to um, actively be in it daily to, to, to be in the business, if you will, or own properties and do that kind of thing. So, you know, um, I look at real estate internationally, not just here in the States, but in West Africa as well and other parts of the world. Like wherever I go, I look at real estate. I look for real estate. So um, 
yeah, if you have any questions that I can answer, if they're specific to you know, how I got into it or how to do it, whatever it is, shoot me a message and I'd be more than happy to um, educate you on whatever it is I know. So that's that. Again, this is Shalom. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will be doing more real estate talk at some point. So thank you and see you soon.